Hey guys, it's Shonda the Rat, and for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing another hammock shop called Fuzzbutt Cage Comforts and Fuzzbutt Fabrics. So, Fuzzbutt is... <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to refer to them that way. It's just so cute. So Fudsbuds is located in the UK, uh, which is a little bit different than a lot of the places I review, which are usually in the US, uh, but they do offer worldwide shipping, which I think is important to note because they have some really amazing items. Um, and I really just want to share them with you because they've sent over these two amazing hammocks uh, and they are just really different from a lot of hammocks that I've had in the past. So Fuzzbuds has a lot of really cool products and their products all have some of the cutest names and best designs that I've seen in hammock shops in general. So first up we have this product right here which is called the Cheese Wedge. Now this is just the best name that I could think of for this. I mean it seriously looks like a wedge of cheese but on top of that I just really love this design because one of the issues I have in my cage is finding things to hang in the corner. And I think I've complained about this before, but <laughs> pickle. But it's hard to find things that will hang in the cage and are easy to hang in the cage corners uh, without any sort of extra modifications. And this is great for that. It hugs the corner really well and the rats can easily sleep in it or on it. Uh, and as you can see here, another nice thing about it is that it can hang up in several ways. The first is on its corner side up, if you want to call it that. You can see that it has three attachment points. And by the way, I should mention that these little metal things here are really nice because the rats can't chew them. And the little straps holding them on are so close, which is again, really nice because it kind of prevents that sort of chewing. And the other way is as a, I don't know what to call this, sort of boat shape. I don't know if that's the right term, but as you can see, it has these four attachment points. So your rats can pretty much just burrow in there, uh, stuff it full with fleece or tissues or whatever else they like, and then they can kind of treat it like a little burrow. Yeah, more like a burrow. Uh, so I really like that you have these two different options for hanging it up. And the other thing I wanted to mention is just how sturdy these are. This is actually a big difference from most hammocks that I've seen because most of the time when you have a hammock, if you put it down on the ground, it will not hold itself up. Uh, and as you can see with these, that is not the case. So I've had a lot of these shaped hammocks that can't hold themselves up if you put them down. Uh, they'll pretty much just collapse in on themselves. But because these are made of several layers of polar fleece that is stitched together, they're super sturdy and able to hold themselves up, even if you just want to use it as a hide on the cage floor. So this is actually what I've been doing so far. I've been keeping it out during free range and the rats really like to just go and curl up inside it because it's super warm and soft inside, uh, but at the same time, it doesn't condense and fall on them if they move slightly, which is a big problem with any other sort of hanging hammock I've had. Uh, not to say that that's bad, but it's just really nice to see how versatile these are. And of course the triple layer fabric's also nice because it means that if the rats do decide to chew on it for whatever reason, it will last longer because it has these different layers. Uh, although, on that note, the rats are very unlikely to chew it because the stitches are all very clean and the edges are just all really rounded, which is a really good way to prevent your rats from chewing because they tend to have a bit of a vendetta against any sharp edges. Uh, so I really liked seeing that these entrances are all kind of rounded and they don't have any areas where the rats will be encouraged to chew. So the other thing that I have here is, I think there's a rat in it. <laughs> I don't want to disturb any of the rats. Let's see. Oh, it's a little olive. See, they really love these hammocks so much. Uh, no, they're all climbing in. How am I supposed to show it off, guys? Oh, no, there's three in there now. Ah, oh, you guys are hilarious. So this here is their luxury huge cube, and it has two entrances. You can see this little triangle one, and then also this little circular one. And just like the cheese wedge, this is made in a very sturdy manner. Uh, it's very prone to standing up on its own, so you can pretty much just leave it on the cage floor if you want to give them a comfy house. Uh, but it also has these hangers, which again are attached very close to the fabric, which allow you to easily hang it in the cage uh, in pretty much any place. And I should mention they have several different options for their cubes. Uh, some are called snooze cubes, and some of them are called huge cubes. And then you have luxury and standard, and all of them have slightly different characteristics, uh, such as different thickness and different amounts of polar fleece. So it's a good idea to check the description if you're looking for a certain sort of usage for your cube. Anyways, this is another favorite of my rats, especially when I leave it out in the free range area. Uh, as you can see right now, both of these cubes are being used by the rats. I guess I shouldn't call this one a cube. This is a cheese 
clearly this is a cheese. But anyways, like I was saying, you can see that both of these are very much loved by my rats, even just sitting in the free range area. And they are absolutely adored in the cage as well. And these are just two of the many products they have. Uh, I've mentioned so far the cheese wedge and the snooze cubes, uh, but they also have corner crushes, which are basically the cheese wedges without the top part. So pretty much just the bottom corner part is a hammock. Uh, don't worry, I'll have pictures on screen. I know I'm not the best at describing these. They have these things called pouch pods, which are basically, well, little pouches that your rats can go inside, uh, which are just super adorable and they look super comfy. They also have these things called tubes, which are basically these long tunnel hammocks. Uh, some have little doors doorways in them, some don't. They have hammocks in every sort of style. They have singles, they have doubles, they have these things called plamics, which are basically huge hammocks with little pockets on them. Okay, I say little, but it's like a huge pocket on them, and they cover a big portion of the cage. And she has this nice guide which tells you which hammocks are best for what size animal. So for example, you know, how many chinchillas can fit in a standard cube, how many rats can fit in a standard cube, uh, how many degus can fit in a standard cube, and so forth. And then she also has information on what the larger hammocks like Plamex can fit in. Uh, she has some of the most popular cages listed with their dimensions. Uh, the site is honestly just really nicely organized. I'm gonna have a picture of pretty much everything I'm talking about on screen because it's just really nice to see how much work she's put into making sure that you're getting the right sized item, uh, that your animals will be able to enjoy the item. It's just a really amazing hammock site. And I didn't even mention that they even have a smaller line for mice and hamsters and gerbils, which they call their Homer line, uh, the Homer mouse hamster gear. I'm gonna show you some of these. But basically these are all smaller items that can fit into smaller cages easily and that are just better suited for well, smaller rodents. And I forgot to mention that she also sent some yummy treats. So I think the rats will be very excited about these. It says that there are some animal chocolate drops, dried pasta, and fruity bits for your fuzzies. And it even tells you right here below, fruity bits and chocolate drops are not suitable for degus, uh, which are known for diabetes. So it makes sense that you wouldn't want to give them those. Uh, but anyways, the rats are thankfully allowed to have all of them. So, well, they're very happy to dig in. Okay, let's see what's in here. Ooh, ooh, that looks yummy. I know it sounds like I'm talking in my baby voice, but my gosh, the rats are gonna love this. I love how the rats just try new food without any qualms. They're just like, oh, yep, that, that looks like a piece of food I'm gonna eat. I've never seen that in my life, but hey, I really want it. Hey, Olive, will you do a spin for your, for your treat that you've never had before? She's like, yeah, I'll do a spin, only if I get the treat. I can already tell that they're very much going to enjoy all the treats in here especially because I'm going to put these in their foraging mix. But yeah, I hope this review was helpful to anyone looking for hammocks. Uh, again, this place is called Fuzzbutt Cage Comforts and Fuzzbutt Fabrics, and you can find them at the website fuzzbutt.co.uk. Uh, and again, even though they are located in the UK, they do do worldwide shipping. So go ahead and check them out if you're looking for hammocks. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. Hopefully it was helpful for anyone out there looking for hammocks. And again, if you would like to check them out and if you're looking for some hammocks, then you can go ahead and go to fuzzbot.co.uk and I will have that linked in the description and in the comments down below. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!